the vet today. We're going to uh, get Curie's blood taken because we're headed to the States this Christmas. And um, in order to for, uh, for Curie to leave China, she needed to have a rabies test which we, or rabies vaccination, which we got last month. And then this month we're taking her blood to see if it's in like if it's working. So if she's got the rabies antibodies. Um, but it's a big process, and uh, the company that tries to like they figure it out is in Beijing. So we're here at the vet to get her blood, and then we have to send her blood all the way to Beijing to ICBS. And then they're gonna check it out, and it's gonna take like four to five weeks to see if if it's good. Are you ready to go to the vet, Kiri? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Kiri, let's go. Come on. She loves the vet. Not. Yeah. Hey, Percy. <laughs> no. I don't want to play. We can say that we want culture all along. We keep, we keep calling Kiri Doggo, but in Chinese, Go means dog, and then da means big, so big dog is da go. <laughs> da go. Da go. Da go. She's not really big. Can we go home now? Da go. <laughs> I want to go home. You're a good dog. What a strong dog. A good dog. You're not even complete. Oh, Kiri, you're all done. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Hey, Ellie, can you give her the treat? You're such a good dog. Yes, you are. Okay, so we just finished in there. Uh, and she got her blood taken, but she was a real good sport. And then right now we're waiting 45 minutes for the blood to do its thing or whatever. And then he'll send it. So right now we're going to go get some blood. Lunch, <laughs> and uh, we'll come back and figure out how to send it and everything. Do you want to explain about this place? Yeah. Oh, this is a, a restaurant that we've come to many times. It's one of our favorites. Yeah, it is one of our favorites. It's cheap and it's somewhat healthy, a little bit oily, and uh, it's good. <laughs> It's the it's called the Muslim Noodles restaurant. Muslim Chinese. noodles, yep. Uh, because the people that own it are from are Muslim, and which is quite interesting because you know it's not really freedom of religion here, so I think they get discriminated against a lot. But they make really good food here, and a lot of people eat here. So there's little shops around um, all over Jinan. I think all over China, um, but they don't serve alcohol and they don't serve. That's it. Pork. Pork? They don't serve pork. Yeah, they don't serve pork. No shellfish. And so they don't want you to bring any alcohol in here, which is no unusual because many Chinese restaurants you're allowed to bring your own alcohol, but um, here they ask you not to. So, so I got some soup and Johnny got some rice. Um, really good stuff. Yeah. And really affordable. Very, very affordable. Like, each each dish is yeah, like a dollar fifty. Uh, yeah, Johnny's dish is sixteen kwai, which is. What, like, uh, Two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. And, 50 cents. and it's very filling and it's very yummy. Yeah, so good. And Let's they eat. make the noodles themselves. Like you can see them sometimes working the dough, and they make the actual noodles themselves. Yeah. It's very very yummy and healthy. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. After eating lunch and waiting 45 minutes, we went back to the vet. And at the vet, we were supposed to draw more blood, and we gave Kiri food. So we're gonna have to go back again tomorrow after not feeding her this evening, wherever she's at. Kiri, come here! And uh, get more blood taken tomorrow. So frustrations, but it's fine. As far as the, uh, the COVID situation is going, things are actually quite normal now in the city again. It was just a big scare. There are officially confirmed zero new cases. I might resume some of my plans, camping, etc. tomorrow. We'll have to see what happens next. But I think that's where I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Jolly Travelers, signing out.